other card was charge it and that was related um in a way where it's very action oriented um but it's action oriented with the requirement of having faith um faith that where you leap a net will catch you um which again i just mentioned that my i i'm a capricorn sun that's not something that always comes naturally to me um so i understand if when you hear that you're like mm, nope <laughs> especially if you have a lot of earth energy um but you know that's that's the message so just just leap take a leap whatever it is that is a risk for you um and you don't have to turn your whole life upside down but um if you feel like there's some sort of roadblock preventing you from exploring a certain topic or whatever well just make the leap um okay so let's see i want to just go right into mystical moments um which was really pretty cool yesterday because um, I, I was just, I was in my bathroom space in the bathroom area and I noticed from my peripheral vision, some purple light. And then when I would look directly at it, it would go away. And so I thought, hmm, okay, maybe it's a trick of the light. I don't know exactly what this is, but I did play with it for about five minutes, um, where I would just look away and let it come back through my peripheral vision but I didn't really pay too much attention after that I didn't put any stock into it because I don't know what that is but what what is the mystical component here was um, later in the day um, and Wednesdays are when our wonderful um, babysitters are here and um, my son had been asleep and so I went downstairs and I was starting to prepare for some dinner and talking to the babysitters. And um, one of them, Avery, um, was talking about how he had been seeing here um, these purple swirling lights. Um, he had also seen yellow, uh, but he had started off by telling me that he had seen purple. And the way he was describing it was exactly what I had seen. And that, I mean that was such cool confirmation that this wasn't in my head. Someone else had seen exactly what I had seen. I still don't know exactly what it was, but it was something. Um, it was validated. <laughs> so anyway, that was pretty cool for me, pretty mystical um, for me. And as per usual, I would love, 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 love to hear your mystical moments and um, if you feel called, then please do email me. You can, you'll can you reach me directly. It's just me. Um, and that's at hello, life, and, A-N-D, esoterics at gmail.com. Hello, life, and esoterics at gmail.com. And I would really love to connect. That's really the whole reason why I'm doing this, um, is to connect with you. So... Yeah, um, if you'd like to email me, let me know if you want me to share it on here or if you want it to stay just between you and me through email. I will honor and respect your wishes either way. Um, and let's just round out the episode here uh, with what I'm into right now. Um, I'm still into cacao, certainly. <laughs> um, and... I mean, <laughs> do I say it? Yeah, I'll say it. Um, so um, I've been really interested in learning more about Arcturians. <laughs> um, and I guess I hesitate to say this because a year ago, I, Arcturians and ETs were not on my radar. It wasn't something I ever imagined I'd be interested in learning about. But uh, such is life. <laughs> Um, and this was part of also, um, my whole exploration of, 
um, Tom Kenyon's works, um, which I had first introduced several episodes back um, when I had mentioned the Magdalene Manuscript. Um, And I have also mentioned that eventually I'll do an episode where I talk a little bit more about Tom Kenyon. um, And as part of that, I want to be reading more of his works. So I just finished the Arcturian Anthology, which was so fascinating and really mind-blowing. And it was interesting that I was watching that. Um, and then of course, previously I have read the Magdalene manuscripts and this last week, my husband and I watched, um, this two part lecture by Freddie Silva. Um, it was something called like 900, the 900 year secret or something like that. Um, it was about the Knights of the Templar. And if you want your mind to explode, I highly suggest watching that. It was fascinating and especially with the information from the Magdalene manuscripts um it's just it's interesting to see how all of the pieces get um put together (laughs) um and I'm still putting more pieces together I'm still searching ever on the search for more information to complete the puzzle of our existence and our history um okay well I hope you have a really wonderful week and very happy holiday. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And I'll be back again next week, Wednesday or Thursday. (laughs) I'll be here. Um, And it'll be my last episode of 2021 for the last week of 2021. And then I'm taking a break And then I'll be back again in February of 2022. So one more episode, guys. Um, Let's let's end this year strong and tune in. I'd love also to hear from you. So again, hello, life and esoterics at gmail.com. And take really, really good care.